Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 155 and we are going to talk about managing anger. Anger is something which is going to distort our decision making. And anger is something which we achieve optimal results achieve karne ki taraf wo lekar jata hai. And we have to be careful when we have to manage our anger. Now, during the process, Jab hum anger ko overcome karne ki koshish kar rahe hain, there are a few things that we have to understand. The first most important thing is, ke baaz okaat anger hume sub optimal decision ki taraf wo lekar jayega. Because anger ki wajah se, the other party can be reactive. Aur uske reactive hone ki wajah se, the negotiations might not be becoming fruitful. So we have to be careful about our management of the anger. Another important thing is, ke anger ki wajah se, hum apni feelings ko proper demonstrate wo nahi kar paate, hum apni positivity ko wo demonstrate nahi kar paate. So we have to be careful ke kis extent tak hume apne jazbaat ka izhaar wo karna hai aur kaha par it would be advised ke we should take a pause. Another important thing is ke jab hum management of the anger ki baat kar rahe hain to hume ye dekhna hooga ke during the discussions jahaan par cross dialogues ho rahe hain, jahaan par conflict arise kar raha hai jahaan par dono parties koshish kar rahi hain ke they should be able to catch the bigger pie waha par heat of discussion can be created and that heat can call the anger so we have to be in our control in our, in our control in a way ke hum dusre ke rights ki violation bhi na kare aur apni negotiation ko bhi positively demonstrate kar sake now remember during the management of the anger we also need to understand ke hum jin emotions to experience kar rahe hain un emotions ko control karne ki capability bhi wo rakhe because as we know in emotional intelligence we need to have self awareness we need to have self control aur us self control ke sath sath no doubt hame sabak empathy ka bhi diya jata hai aur us empathy ke andar we have to take care of the other person regardless ke who is that person and in which dialogue we are actually engaged so we have to maintain empathy, we have to come up with self-control, we have to come up with self-awareness, we have to control our emotions and moods, so that we can do making better decision making. In the context of managing anger, there are different things that we have to understand. And these things will lead us towards achieving our optimum outcomes. When managing anger, remember one thing, Okay, there are certain things which are going to distort our decision making. For example, anger also reduces joint gains and decreases cooperation. And as we negotiations to our cooperation ko se karna hai, so we have to be careful about these things. The second aspect is that anger intensifies competitive behavior. Jabke hum nahi chahte ke competitive behavior ho, hum chahte hai ke there should be collaboration. And it increases the rate of rejection. Jis rejection ki wajah se, the other party can become reactionary. Aur uske reactionary hone ki wajah se, the other party might not be indulged in fruitful outcomes. Another important thing is, ke jab hum anger ko manage kar rahe hai, angry negotiators are less effective and efficient than neutral ones. So we have to learn the art of remaining neutral. We have to neutralize our concerns so that we go in situation ke andar, na inferiority complex mein jayin, na superiority complex mein jayin. Or in any situation ke andar, we should not be coming up with suboptimal decisions. Isi tarha, anger is mostly costly in terms of long term relationships because ghussa tamam talukat ko kharaab kar deta hai. So we have to be careful ke tamam ehsasat aur mehsusat ke majroo hone se hum apne aap ko bhi roke aur dousro ko bhi koshish kare ke wo uska shikar na ho. Likewise, anger is mostly costly in terms of long-term relationship or us long-term relationship ke upar dabara emphasis hamara is liye ho raha hai because we have to be careful about the associated costs and those associated costs are not something which we are trying to achieve. Likewise, in heated negotiations, sometimes problem ye arise karti hai ke you are not able to pause yourself. So it is said ke hitting the pause button can be the smartest play, can be the best possible option. Because this best possible option ke zariye, you are able to achieve what you are trying to achieve. So, kuch ter wakfa karne se, kuch ter apni baat ko khamoshi ke andar lekar jane se, aap apni negotiation ko zyada behter tarika se establish wo kar sakte ho. As we have just seen, ke when we are managing the anger, we are continuously focusing upon 
द कॉस्ट एसोसिएटेड विद द एंगर बिकॉज उस कॉस्ट के ऊपर जो मेजर फोकस है वो इस बात पर किया जा रहा है कि हमारे जो ताल्लुक और मामला हैं दे कैन बी कंप्रोमाइज और हमें इस बात को बहुत केयरफुल सोचना है कि अपने फोर वे विंस के अंदर भी हमारे जो स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं द फैमिली द कम्युनिटी द प्रोफेशन एंड इवन अवर सेल्फ वी शुड नॉट बी हैविंग एनी कंप्रोमाइज विद अवर स्टेक होल्डर्स देर फोर याद रखें कि जब हम मैनेजमेंट कर रहे हैं जब हम डिसीजन मेकिंग कर रहे हैं तो एंगर इज समथिंग विच मस्ट बी एवॉइडेड डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि एंगर हमारे डिसीजन मेकिंग को डिस्टॉर्ट करता है उसकी एक बहुत ज्यादा कॉस्ट है विच वी हैव टू बियर और दैट इज अ कॉस्ट जिसको कि हम शायद रिकवर भी वो नहीं कर सकेंगे एंड दैट वुड बी अवर अन एफोर्डेबल कॉन्टेक्स्ट जिसकी वजह से हम अपने ताल्लुक को खराब वो कर बैठते हैं तो एंगर मस्ट बी अवॉइडेड एट एनी कॉस्ट थैंक यू